Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and another neighbor visit. We got an invitation from Morgan to see her medieval castle, which is here on the mainland of her town, near the bridge, the mysterious island. Yeah, it's almost impossible to mistake this for anything other than a castle. <laughs> like it's just really well structured. Yeah, let's actually just go ahead and give you guys the roof view so that you can see how it all fits together, sort of. I mean, that's just really cool looking. Yeah. You've got, obviously got four towers, but also there's lots of interesting balcony work on some of the lower floors. Mm -hmm. They're just, yeah, sort of interesting passageways and stuff too. Okay. And of course that Tudor cladding on the outside works really well with this style of house. All right, so this is the front door through these double barn doors, and that immediately gets into a long hallway stretching this way with a magnificent fireplace. If you go over on the right side, what we've got is a ballroom. Really cool. I like the ice sculpture there. That's kind of very fancy. <laughs> and over here is a formal sitting room. I really like the colors here, especially the Japanese couches, which I feel like I haven't seen in a while. Like, Houses that we've visited or houses that we've built, haven't seen these in a while. Yeah, I think yeah. I've had a lot of them in my Japanese castle. Sure. But I don't know if I've used them much since. Anyway, I just really like the look of that. It's really nicely set out. Then through here is a staircase set. This is basically a stairwell. Oh, I like this. I hadn't yeah, noticed I hadn't before. Yeah, I that. Yeah. Yeah, sort of like an extra storage room. Yeah, for, uh, maybe for gardening equipment or, or something yeah. like that. Because yeah. there's a lot of really nice gardening yeah. all around this property. Through the stairwell area, you have access to a another hallway, which then has bathroom off of it. And if you went this way, between the two hallways, we have a formal dining hall. Ooh, spooky items in the <laughs> castle. I think that's completely necessary for especially an older medieval castle. Exactly. So I like that this side has got banquet tables for the royal family probably to sit. Then through here is another sort of seating area, parlor par kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say a parlor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we took the staircase up to the next floor, then what we get is another mirrored structure with two hallways on either side. If we went this way, we've got a library where, let's see, it looks like our queen is. And that library also has a separate room for games chess, of course, for the royal family. Down here is a bedroom. Very majestic. Bed fits perfectly, I think. Then on this side of the hallway, we've got access to a balcony. Very nice. And on this side of the hallway, we have Another small seating area, I think slash like kind of a dressing room. What do you think? Yeah, it could be a dressing room or just, yeah, maybe just a private room mm -hmm. for studying or just sitting around reading. Yeah. Then, let's see, back here we've got another bathroom set up just like the one below. Mm -hmm. So taking the next staircase up. Yeah, this is where things start to get more interesting with the mix between the different towers and inside and outside. Mm. So that stairwell area has a sort of seating area here with a couple of chairs, bookcase, and globe. Very nice. You can then take a couple of doorways. This one walks out onto a long balcony area here like this, so instead of hallways we get balconies. And on this side is... well, we might do this by tower, what do you think? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Certainly for the for these two towers. Yeah, so these front, they both have stairs. Upwards. These are front towers facing the front of the castle. So, as I said, there is a stairwell, or not a stairwell, but a staircase here. But in the meanwhile, this is sort of like a sitting room for this tower. And if you took the staircase up, you get to a bedroom. Yeah, which Very has cool. its own little mini balcony all the way around. Yeah. But also links to other parts of the floor that we'll show when we go back up to the yeah. that fourth floor. So the other tower room here has a very similar setup with sitting room, but this is more for a young girl, teenager or preteen perhaps. So if you then took the staircase up, you'd see her bedroom. I really like that structure. It's just really cool. So you can also connect uh, this balcony with that balcony via this balcony bridge. Really cool. 
and that'll take you into a little magic practice room. Mm. With an orb. Cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Is that a gold orb even? Yeah. And then back here is another bathroom set up just like the two below. So just quickly going up to the towers again so you can see how they all connect together. There's another bridge here connecting the two bedroom towers. There's a bridge here which connects this bedroom with this arbor area. That's really beautiful. I like that. There's a telescope off one end here for stargazing. Through here is a bridge to, I would say this is a dressing room as well, just because of the dressers and the uh, makeup or jewelry box here. There is another bridge this way to another bathroom. Really neat structure, huh? Mm -hmm. And then let's take a look at the fifth floor very briefly, we showed it to the beginning. These are just four towers, which there isn't enough space to actually fit stairs on, and maybe there are stairs in real life, like a ladder going up, but here they're just decorative. Mm -hmm. So you have plants inside each of these towers and windows all around, so you can see yeah. the inside, you can see the little plants just giving a little bit of added texture, which is really nice. So there is also, of course, a basement to the castle, and that is going to be accessed here via this staircase. And this is where servants do their work. So the staircase immediately lets out into this large area here, and here you've got a massive kitchen with the medieval stone haunted counters. Mm -hmm. And plates ready to go to serve, and I think it makes excellent sense to have the kitchen right next to the staircase, Yes, which is also right next to the dining room, yep. so the food can get up there as quickly as possible. Through this door is a really cool thing. <laughs> this, I think, is a walk-in larder or storage room for food. Pantry. For pantry, thank you very much. And at the end of that is a walk-in freezer refrigerator. Yeah, I think this just makes so much mm -hmm. sense. I mean, yeah. this could work for a castle or for a restaurant or a hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just Great. a really clever design. Yeah. And then, if you went this way from that staircase, you get towards... Well, first of all, you've got a boiler room, I would say, with furnace and these water heaters. But then there's a skinny hallway from which you can access the servant quarters. So you've got servants all sleeping in the same room, but divided off by privacy screens. Yes, they get a tiny bit of privacy, but not much. They've also each got their own wardrobe for keeping their personal possessions as well as their uniforms for working. Then through here is a, another skinny hallway, and that gets to the servants' bathrooms. So they've got basically stalls for toilets, a couple of sinks here, and shared shower room. Nice setup. Cool. Thank you so much to Morgan for inviting us to see your medieval castle. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.